my name's Christine. Welcome to Book Talk. Today we're discussing Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. I finally read Hopeless. Yeah, I got this book last Christmas. I read it. It was really, really good. This book is part of a duology, I believe. There's Hopeless and there's Losing Hope. I have not gotten myself losing hope yet, but I'm going to get myself that as soon as I can because I want to read it. This is a contemporary book. It's like, it's like a new adult contemporary book. There's this girl and her name is Skye and she is adopted and she makes out with a lot of boys, but she never feels anything towards them. She's just numbed by their presence and she likes the numb feeling, but obviously she wants to feel something for someone sometime. This one day comes and she sees this really attractive kid and she feels something. She's like, whoa, whoa, he's hot. I wanna hit that. And it's a totally different feeling for her. She's kind of confused by it. Like, whoa, whoa, what happened to numbness? So they talk and things happen. And I don't wanna spoil anything because it's a contemporary. That's all you need to know. It's a very emotional ride, as I'm learning are most of Colleen Hoover's books. All the ones that I've read have like big drops in them. It's like, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, and it's just the emotions, but it's good. It's good because she has a really great balance between the high points and the low points and the medium points and all the points. This is good. She can write a story. I'm really excited to continue and read Losing Hope. I think that's all I can say in that non-spoiler section. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin anything for you. So go read the book, come back, you can discuss it with us and it'll be great. Okay. Okay. Bye non-spoilers. Okay, so I don't even know how much I have to say in this spoilery section. Like, whoa, whoa. Right off the bat, Holder's like, ooh, why do I recognize you? And at that point, we're like two chapters in. I'm like, oh god, she's adopted. Is this, are they gonna fall in love and realize they're brother and sister? <laughs> like, or like, we're in the same foster family when they were babies? I don't know, but we didn't go that way at all, and I'm so happy we did it. Then we learned, you know, that Holder and his twin were best friends with her, and then there's all these emotional flashbacks and horrifying reveals about what happened to Skye. So Holder, as a character, what do we feel? He's like the silent, brooding type that speaks when he has stuff to say, and I like it at the same time in the beginning it was annoying, because he would just like... And then we'd be like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Talk to me, please. But I love Dinner Quest. I want to play Dinner Quest. <laughs> it sounds like a fun game. I love the mean texts. Their whole relationship was fun in a different way than the relationship in like Point of Retreat and Slam is fun. I liked that. It was, they were really different couples. I really loved Brecken. He was fantastic. I loved when she got the notes on her locker and she like goes and makes them more creative. It all starts to get really creepy when we start to put the pieces together to realize that she doesn't have access to technology or the internet or the TV because she was kidnapped. Whoa. Whoa. But then we know, we know, she doesn't know yet that she was kidnapped because her father's molesting her and whoever was knew and was trying to help her. She's starting to feel so mean towards Karen. I'm like, she rescued you! She rescued you! And she doesn't really get these memories back till we leave and she goes to her house. This whole situation, we go back to see her dad. This was the part where I was just like blown. I, I couldn't even believe what just happened. We already, it's been like, she was molested as a child, she was kidnapped, all this drama. Oh, and then we go in there and we learn that he's done it to two other people, his younger sister, and as soon as I hear that, I'm like, oh my god, his younger sister is gonna be Karen. Karen has gotta be the sister. The other one is Leslie. Did not see that one coming. A huge emotional blow, WTF, and then he kills himself. That whole section, I just was like, It was just, it was hard to read it. And then they jumped back and took that shower and she was freaking out. It was horrible. It was so horrible. I, I can't even imagine how to deal with this. I I think I just like fainted. I love it. she faints a lot. In the beginning when she fainted after the running, oh I was just like sit down, girl, sit, sit. And then she just fainted. It just it reminded me a lot of and it's stupid because it wasn't anything really like it, but it reminded me of Twilight. Like he asks her out and she faints and in Twilight he like goes and kiss her and Bella faints. But yeah, that was a game changer. The story just got so much darker. I was really happy with the way everything resolved. I love Karen when she and Karen were talking when she got back from that whole trip. I was just like, it was so emotional. It was so sad. Their bond is so much stronger now that they've talked this out and that they have survived it together. I love how they're so positive and 
optimistic about life. I'm nervous because the next book is called Losing Hope. What the fuck does that mean? I hope there's no breakup. Is it losing hope like her past self or like losing hope like losing Sky? Me no like that. No. Did you see everywhere this book was going? Were you surprised? I thought I saw where it was going, but I really didn't. I really didn't see some of those things coming, and it was great. I didn't give it a rating. I would give it a 94%. Really, really enjoyed it. Please share your thoughts, your favorite scenes. What do you think of Holder? Holder is compared to Will from Slammed. Gotta go with Will. Holder's a little too angsty for me, but I understand why he's angsty. But you know, Will's been through a lot of shit. He's not as angsty. I like him a little better. <laughs> He's a little older. Okay, okay. Share your thoughts. I'm Christine. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.